What's up? What's up, Game of Fan 95 here? <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, um, welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne 2. And we're on. Let me just load this back up. So we're on chapter 1. So part 1, chapter 1. So that's where I left off. So here we go. Elevator doors, the darkness inside. Yeah, I filmed the introduction to this mission, this level. So I can just walk in and just do what I need to do. So I'm going to kill a lot of people in this one. Got to remember to save it as I go along. So here we go. I turned up the volume this time, so hopefully you can hear it. Okay, here we go, we're in the rain, so this is Vlad's warehouse, and we're like, um, we need to search out for a hostage situation in this now, so let's go. There's no way to deal with the past. I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road peeled behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Like a big warehouse here. in this mission. Yeah, it, it gets more actionary in this in the game now. I'm not a violent man by nature. It pisses me off Pain more than anything when they do that. It's an insult. That's what it is. Please, oh, my baby. Upstairs now, I think. Let's stick to two. Bad. As soon as the guys I love the sound track in this game. Die! Die. Die. You can die too. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. I'll save it in a minute. The answering machine had a message on it. Yeah. I need to keep remembering to save the game as I go along. <clears throat> Four minutes in. I told you to sit down. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. Beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? Be speaking? NYPD, drop them. Oh 
why he needs up the fucking gun on the rest. Sorry, Annie. How long can it take? You're not supposed to cuddle with her afterwards. We need to wrap this up. Freeze! Sort of time. Oh, bastard! I died. I died! Right, and on. Try this again. Oh, son off. Oh, what's going on here?
Who's done glitch? Stop the van! Gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as his Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned the name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide, Sebastian Gate. It's going to be all over the news. The senator. Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravara knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell him I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search in the squeaky cleaning company in Kaufman had come up empty. Okay, so I'll be doing chapter two um, next time. So I hope you enjoyed that. So I've been Rockstar Gaming Fan Night Five. I hope you enjoyed all that. Sorry about all that editing, but the game is glitching up. So I might have to get myself another copy of it. At least it won't be. Hopefully, it's not going to be doing the rest of the Let's Play because I don't want to be pissed off. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version of it. He was there with bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant in Vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation go with him. Fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. So here we go. Flag! Merc! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall! Could you some help! Could you use it now! I had to find another way to reach Flag. No time to call back up. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Okay, I'll leave it there. See you next time. Bye-bye.